So this lecture, this lecture is being recorded. Uh, it is continuation with Excel module four, project one. Uh, before break, we did steps one to twelve. Now we'll start with step thirteen, unhide campground research worksheet. How do I unhide? You just you see why my mouse. Right click your mouse on campground mortgage. Right click your mouse and then click on hide. Now you have campground research. Click OK. So this is the campground research worksheet. You unhide it. Step 14. Switch to campground research worksheet, which is this one. In cell B8, in cell B8, um, create a formula without using a function that determines the total interest associated with the mortgage. First, multiply the cell value in cell B6. B6 is the number of years by the value in cell B7. B7 is a monthly payment, number of monthly payments, B7. B7. Um, by the value in cell B7, multiply by 12, and then subtract the value in cell B4. Okay. So let's do it. Quick cell B8 equal B7. B7 multiply 12. And then subtract B4. That is the total interest. Total payments minus loan amount is the total interest. Press Enter key. Um, why this is negative? Total interest. B7 monthly payment minus loan amount. B4. That's correct. Then copy the formula in cell B8 to C8E8. So that 15. Colleen would like to able to see the remaining balance of the campground mortgage at the end of current year. In cell B11, create a formula using the PV function to determine the outstanding balance of the campground mortgage at the end of the current year using the parameters below. So quick cell B11 equal PV. Opening bracket, read with B5. Divide 12, comma. Okay. And for NPER number of payment, Subtract the value in cell B10 from the value in cell B6. Multiply by 12. So B6 multiply 12 minus B10. That is number of terms. Let me double check. B6 
six multiply twelve B six multiply by twelve then subtract B ten. Subtract B10. Why is B10? B10 is the current year. Does it make sense? Let me see. Subtract the value in cell B10 from the value in cell B6. B6 and multiply by 12. So this 12 is not here. So B6 minus B10 bracket the bracket multiply 12. Okay, so B6 minus b10 bracket multiply 12 for pmt negative b7 okay, closing bracket enter so again this is the formula for b11 Now, copy the formula from B11 to range C11, E11. Okay, so that is the last step in this project. I'm going to stop recording to see if you have any questions.